What's going on guys? We are at the Sideshow Collectible booth and we are going to check out just the one six scale Hot Toys right now. I was here the other day. I checked them out a little bit. I would definitely want to get a full review of them right now. There's definitely one that I've seen in person that has changed my thoughts right away. Let's check out the Star Wars ones first. Here we are. We got the Airborne Trooper starting off first, Revenge of the Fifth. He has some battle damage, it's pretty sweet. Next up we have Django Fett from Attack of the Clone Wars. Pretty cool pose, floating in the air. The flame on the hand, definitely the great little accessory. You can see the flames on the back, it's pretty sick. This is my first time being at the uh, Sideshow booth at New York Comic Con compared to San Diego Comic Con, so it's gonna be a little bit of fun. That was Django Fett, pretty cool. He looks uh, pretty big as well, bigger than the Airborne Trooper. Next up we have the Emperor Palpatine, one six scale deluxe version. This is actually out right now. I see a lot of people putting this on the payment plan. And the difference between this and the other one is the deluxe version comes with this chair. This is the first Emperor Palpatine that they actually made from Hot Toys. And it's actually out now. And seeing it in person is another one that's kind of changed my mind when it comes to collecting these Hot Toys. Definitely interested in picking that one up. And and then right behind it, you have the Darth Vader, the Empire Strikes Back, 267 bucks. Uh, it's actually out right now as well. It comes with that little stand that he's standing on for uh, a display, which is pretty interesting, pretty cool. I'm not a fan of it right now, but you can see how tall he is compared to the other characters. If I had to choose, I definitely would go over to Emperor Palatine over that. Now, we're at the Anakin Skywalker, $267, one six scale. I was originally, um, I was originally for this. I wanted to get it, but after seeing it in person, kind of changed my mind. I do like the uh, detail on the face. You can see that he's turning Sith, which was pretty cool. Uh, he does have the lightsaber in his hand. He's pretty good pose. And this one does come with this diorama base, which is pretty awesome for $267. But out of uh, out of the ones that I've seen that I would rather have, this guy kind of was not on there. Next up, and the last one here, is the actual Darth Maul Special Edition from Sideshow. $280. $2, one six scale. Uh, you can see the face on him. There's that really nasty, massive face. Pretty cool. They have an awesome pose for him. They've made this Darth Maul character into like the sideshow. This is what we are kind of figure. Coming soon is the deluxe figure in September 2019. I'm pretty excited for that. I put that one on pre-order. So out of the Star Wars one six scale, the Emperor and this Darth Maul definitely caught my eye. There's actually another section where they have a Boba Fett we're gonna go to right now. And this is the Boba Fett Mythos, 250 bucks. Pretty awesome, it says June and August 2019 on it. Look at the detail, look at the accessories. I do like this one. If I had to pick a Boba Fett up right now, or pre-order one, this is definitely gonna be the one that I'm going after. He looks pretty sick. He has the uh, his blaster in his hand, he has the rifle on the back. Comes with plenty of accessories over his shoulder. He's a little uh, beat up, which is nice, so he's a little weathered, which is great. So this Boba Fett was the one that changed my opinion seeing it in person. And you can see that the actual robe that he's wearing over his shoulders, you can actually brush to the side like the wind's coming. Pretty awesome, awesome sculpt. So over here we have a $260 Obi-Wan Kenobi Mythos. I'm, I'm not 100% what that actually means. Maybe it's because it's from a different series, but we have Obi-Wan Kenobi. He definitely has a musket in his hand, which is okay, all right. Very detailed, he has goggles on his, uh, over his neck. You can see he's holding a musket in hand. He has a lightsaber sitting out on his, uh, on his waist, which is funny because he has a musket and he has a lightsaber. I don't know if he's hunting or what. And on the back side, you can see his little backpack as well. Pretty cool. Next up, we have 1-6 scale Lando Clarizian. No price tag on it yet. Has a good helmet. Little spear in his hand. Not a big fan of it. If you're definitely a Lando fan and you want to collect these guys, definitely has all the detail you can need. 
And then the last Star Wars one, we have the Luke Skywalker for $235. Uh, this is releasing basically uh, at the end of this year, December in 2018. To me, this is a, another basic Luke Skywalker. I'm trying to wait it out to get the one that has the most accessories and the baddest looking one out of them all. The Anakin Skywalker, when he looks like he's about to turn that we saw earlier, was definitely more on my list than this guy. Now that's it for the Star Wars. $210 Batman, one six scale action figure, December 2018 to February 2018. A little bit older look, definitely has a uh, very detailed face, and if you're a fan of the animated series Batman, it's definitely on there. I've seen some animated other ones like Mr. Freeze that are coming out. Looks pretty sick. You can see the muscles inside his actual outfit. The uh, actual suit itself looks very thick. Look at that, check that out. Check out that outfit, insane. Cape 2 looks so thick. You can see where they put their money when it comes to putting these items together when it doesn't come with as many accessories. And the last one we have is the To Be Determined Joker. I seen this one originally at San Diego Comic Con and I thought it was one of the better looking ones. The paint job and the detail again. On the figures that don't come out with the most accessories, definitely have the best detail and have the best clothing when it comes to this. Uh, you can see him with the crowbar in his hand, which is pretty cool. And the Joker's face looks so incredible that you could see the detail brushing right off from, onto the camera. Insane, loving the colors, loving the outfit, loving the shoes. Definitely a great product. They also have a John Wick and a Talba. I don't really know too much about them, so I'm not gonna talk too much of them. I have not seen the movie, but it is coming out soon. Uh, chapter three of the John Wick. They definitely look very detailed. Just don't know enough about them. So let's get onto the Marvel. Starting out with the one that I wanted originally, the first time I seen it at San Diego Comic Con, is the July and September 2019 Spider Punk. You can see the base here with the New York logo on it, with the almost looking jeans on, with a jean jacket, with the spikes on top of his head. I don't know too much about the Spider Punk character, but the detail of the rebelness inside this character, you can definitely see it coming out. Pretty cool, and yes, I just did say rebelness. Yes, 235 bucks. Originally was gonna get it, but then I seen all these other ones. So let's get on to Captain America. Concept art version, Captain America, $251. Out right now. He looks like he's in his uh, Infinity Wars gear. He comes with two shields from the older Captain America and there's a newer one. Let's see if we can get around and check that out. Boom, on that side. And on this side here, you can see his other shield. Definitely looks cool, interesting. This Captain America is definitely not the one for me as of right now. I'd rather get an older one. Um, Christopher Evans definitely did write a post on Twitter saying, thank you guys. I heard you only had a four movie contract. Next up we have the Black Panther $259. Black Panther. <sighs> I do like the figure. It should have came with another head for sure. Uh, it, it's just not enough for me. It's basically just Black Panther. The detail you can see looks fantastic. The actual suit looks good. The detail, the pose, everything, but it's just not uh, It's just not for me. Just because it's so simple, I'm not going to pick him up. Uh, the Tichana, he looks sick. Different, totally different. He has the gold on his nails. He has the gold on his chain. His helmet has the gold. He has the thing draping over his outfit. He has a pair of pants on his gold on his shoes he looks great he's only 220 bucks less than this one it's 259 if I had to pick one up I'd rather go with this Next up, we have the Iron Man, Marvel Studios' first 10 years on the plate, or on the bottom of that, which is pretty cool. You can see why everybody loves these Iron Man figures. The detail on them are insane. Definitely highly suggest getting at least one in your collection. And what I was told is, if you don't have a Iron Man that is a hot toy, you're not a real hot toy collector. Ugh. Iron Spider, $259, Finley Wars. 
This one's a tough one for me. This one's, uh, this one's coming out April and June 2019. I know Jedi Patrol pre-ordered it. It definitely looks sick and pretty cool with having the little spider legs on the back. You can see that he has a metallic outfit. He is same sculpt as always as a Spider-Man figure and what you would expect from him. Out of all the Spider-Man guys uh, and the Thinly War figurines, I don't know if I would be able to pick this one up. I'm not too much into it at, right now. I'd rather get the one that's from the Homecoming Deluxe. Next up, we have the Iron Man, $407, one six scale, Infinity Wars. This one is released in April and June 2019. I seen one with the incredible amount of accessories that you can buy and then add it onto them, which is pretty cool. But this is uh, the Infinity Wars one. You can see the big difference here with the metallic suit. He's a little bit bigger. And on his arm right here, he has that weapon that looks pretty freaking sick. For me right now, I am sold on buying the Iron Man's one through seven, Mark's one through seven, as they get re-released from Hot Toys, and I'm gonna keep it there. This is priced at four and seven dollars. Then next up, we have the Thor. The Avengers Infinity War, 267 dollars. The one that I originally wanted for the collection. If there was any of the Hot Toys from the Infinity Wars that you were thinking about picking up, it was definitely this Thor. You can see the electrocuting uh, bolts coming off the side of his outfit. You can see a patch on his eye. He does have the short hair and he has the storm breaker in him is really what breaks it here and makes it for everyone. He has the boots on, he has the cape on. Oh man, I'm on the fence with this one. It's 267 bucks. Out of all the Thors, I think I might go with the one with the longer hair, but we'll see, we'll see. We might see this one in the collection down the road. And next one we're gonna see is the Iron Man. And it's the one six scary L New York Comic Con exclusive. Definitely looks sick, neon tech Iron Man. Oh, I might have to pre-order this one for sure. I'm definitely going to have to find back at the Marvel booth to get my little pass to get in there. Because this one looks sick. Huge Iron Man. So if you did pre-order this and you got a code, it's $385. It's my first time coming in and checking this thing out. Definitely enjoyed it. And finishing up, we have three more Marvel characters and then we're done with the booth. There's $230 Luke Cage. Luke Cage, he's holding the chain in hand. He has his jeans, he has his Tims on, he has the chain. He has a typical yellow shirt on with the black leather jacket. You can see the little pockets in the detail. Simple pose, simple character, just not enough for me. And in the back here we have the to be determined Magneto floating in the air. I wish they would make some more or re do the entire, I wouldn't even mind if they retid the entire X-Men series. Definitely I'm excited to see the new Phoenix, Dark Phoenix movie coming out soon. You can see the pose, you can see the way his cape is, how it's floating in the air. Definitely a badass character and definitely has a great scope. If you're a huge fan of the X-Men, definitely would pick this one up. For me, uh, I gotta decide what series I'm going after. MCU, Marvel, yeah, I can't stay, I can't be hanging out with the uh, X-Men crowd. And the last one we have, the Captain America, $235, one six scale, released February and April 2019. It's very simple, very detailed. Definitely looks more of a comic book version than the actual one from the movies. Shield on it looks great, the detail looks great. Definitely worth it if you did miss out and you wanted one at retail, the end. All right guys, that was it at the Sideshow Collectible booth for the Hot Toys. There are some more amazing statues here that I did show you in between the breaks. Pretty freaking cool. Not my game yet, I can't afford the, uh, the statue game. And I don't even know where the hell to put them. And I don't wanna just store them. So, hope you guys enjoyed my review of the Sideshow booth. It was my first time and getting into these Hot Toys recently. I've been obsessed with them. I'm obsessed with them. Let's go finish it off with this Venom. Just so you know how big that is, look at my hand compared to that. Sick, you can see the drool coming off the mouth, sitting on there on his tongue, pretty sick. If there was any of the Infinity War characters that you want to get from Sideshow or Hot Toys, and the last one here we have the...